reading of the New Testament from the uh, well it's, it's King James version of the New Testament but it's uh, translated uh, from the uh, Gullah people South Carolina my peoples at least on my maternal side and it's the uh, King James uh, well but that uh, say King James is just a translate well this is the Gullah and it's the translation or vice versa, however you want to say it. Let's see, it's smaller type. Therefore, I need uh, need my glasses. Got from the VA. Uh, and uh, what we do is we just turn to any page. I'm at Luke right now. Ah, we do Luke too much. There's John. Ah, I don't want to do John either. There's the Apostle. Uh, the Apostle Dem. You know, in this uh, thing, I have to always go look at the beginning because the translations... I don't know. Well, first of all, I'm actually not a Bible reader. Well, well, I I read these. I mean, I read the Gullah Bible uh, because, like I said, it's part of my maternal lineage, and I wanted to have this experience of well, you know, when the when the new newly freed peoples uh, were freed and how they learned to be literate so quick, you know, read and write so quick, and you know, of course, they used the only thing they had, which was the King James version of the Bible, and so I wanted to somehow feel oh no, feel my lineage uh, connect with my lineage so i just started to read um read out of this bible every day well every day for sunday sunday i do uh, my scripture from uh, mr daly fuller jr from his uh, compensatory concept uh, book you know the code book but uh but every, all the other days i miss every once in a while every once in a while but uh uh, but I enjoy it, and and I've been enjoying it. It's it's, it's been quite an interesting uh, thing for the last. Uh, I guess I've been doing it for uh, a little bit over a year. I don't know how long I've been doing it, and then it gets better. Okay, is uh, this is the work, the work. Where what, what's that? The work, the work. while the apostle them done. See, that's the thing, and that. They don't say what it translates to. Oh, this is Acts. Oh, I like Acts. I mean, you know, I, I did read the Bible a couple of times, you know, whatever, you know. In fact, one, one funny thing, I have to tell you this. Um, you know, when I, left, when I left my, well, when I left my house that I grew up in, you know, like when I went to the Air Force, I left. Then I left. I never I never came back to, to live. I mean, I could, I could have, but I, but I didn't. Um, I was always moving around, whatever have it. But every Sunday... Uh, especially when my grandmother got uh, older, but even before she got a wheelchair thing, I would visit her every Sunday. So one particular Sunday was actually I, I was re I had happened to be reading the Bible, you know, the whole you know Old Testament to the New Testament, and uh, I think this was the second time I did. But anyway, I, I was I was reading the Bible, so I, you know I was there on Sunday, and so my grandma says, "Well, but y'all you reading the Bible?" I said, "Yeah." I said, well, "I said yeah, I'm up to the I'm up to the, uh, the New Testament here." I said, you know, I read the whole book. She said. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Just, just read the <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> now you tell me. But now when I think back of that, I guess that was the men that was the mentality. But my grandmother, I think my grandmother, her father was was the Gullah. Her, her, her mother was, was Mohawk Kenya. But the, the, I guess that's what they was taught. That the, is, if you're going to be a Christian, I guess to be Christian, you have to be, you have to read the New Testament because that's where the Christianity comes from, does it not? I mean, if you read the whole thing, then you're just, well, you're a Biblican. You're not a Christian. You're a Biblican because you read the New Testament and you hodgepodge them up and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, so I didn't realize this is the, this is Acts. I like Acts. I like Acts only because, see, they, they okay, whoever, I guess, you know, King James, whoever, they said, okay, there's no more. We're cutting this off here. Whoever is just doing this this little round table with, with Christopher Marlowe, whoever was, was doing this stuff. And I guess they say, hey, no more Acts. But guess what? There got to be more Acts. So I like Acts because even though they close the book, Acts is happening all the time. I mean, if you want to go that route, uh, never mind, I don't want to get you involved with that. So this is Acts. I didn't know that. But let's go to Acts 5, uh, page uh, 413, and uh, we'll go to 3. Acts 5, 3, page 413. And what we do is we usually, uh, we read it, we read Gullah Cole, because that's what I'm trying to do. I like, I, just like they would, they ain't know nothing 
well, maybe they didn't know what they were doing. And so I read it cold, then I read the translation, then I do it, do it again, okay? Um, <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, three. Peter asked Ana Anaisas, said, Anaisas, how come ye glee for the Satan go inside ye and take over ye heart and make ye lie to the Holy Spirit? Ye done keep some of the money we, where, ye, where they pay for yeah for the land okay so this translation of uh acts well them apostles them them apostles them it's not them apostles them it's acts um that's just a translation um and this is five uh three but peter said anaisis a-n-a-n-i-a-s anaisis I'm, I'm gonna pronounce it anaisis why have satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land. Okay, so once again, we read it once again. Peter asked Ananias, say, Ananias, how come your glee for the Satan go in, inside you and take over the heart and make ye lie to the Holy Spirit? Yeah, then come some of the money what pay what they pay yeah, for the land. And again. But Peter said, Ananesis, why have Satan filled thy heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? There you go. So that's what we do every uh, you know, well, you know, six days a week, I guess. Except for when I slack off. Not often. I enjoy I enjoy this. Um, and uh, usually on 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 Saturdays, which is a Saturday, I usually post them late at night. You know, uh, actually the, the the morning of the next day. But on Saturdays, I'm trying to post at twelve o'clock. You know, with Saturday to Sunday. Uh, but I also um, spend this time to explain what uh, what I'm doing every Saturday. I explain what I'm doing uh, because I, I see, I'm I I was um I was uh, I'm trained in radio. In radio, we learn like people. New people tune in every 15 minutes. So there might be some new people who didn't catch any of the episodes or any of the Saturday episodes. Now I explain it. So this is the set that I'm on. Uh, that up there, that's just a, a flag that was uh, uh, from a bi biannual, uh, um, uh, an art an art project. I forget when it was in the 80s, I guess, whenever it was. Um, and the artist depicted that flag. And I like that flag, like that. Now that, of course, is my, but not of course, this green here, that's my last name. That cat there, I don't know anything about him. He's just on the calendar. I use it as scholarship, right? Uh, you can't see it here, but uh, down here, there's a Henry Dumas article on Henry Dumas. Always keep Henry Dumas by me, I think. And uh, also, uh, well, that's the flag of Africa. Well, the flag of Africa. I mean, the continent of Africa before the colonizers came and carved it up. The, 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 the I guess you say the, the, the colonizers, the, the colonizers, yeah. I don't know why they call them colonizers. They, they were colonizers, you know? Um, and, uh, oh, that's a picture of me and my wife out there. We was in, that's in Alice in, this, in Southern Africa, in the Eastern Cape where I live. I don't live in Alice anymore. I live, we live in another smaller village. I do my uh, my tasking in Dimbaza. Uh, there's, there's this picture here I call the, the three cats in, in Cape Town. Uh, this uh, this is Ian. And, oh, well, let me go backwards. This, this, this guy here, this is... Um, uh, a Kasikalela, and he's 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 uh he's he's Stone Cold Zulu. He he's he's like the Zulu culture. It's like interesting because my wife, she comes from Zulu and um and the, the Kwasan, you know, the, the Shan people, the you know, little people whatever. She has those two bloodlines, and he's he insists he's a hundred percent Zulu. Let me tell you about the Zulus. It ain't nobody a hundred percent Zulus. They just absorbed all the tribes around them, so they all everybody's Igbo. I don't want to get into all that stuff. Um, um. That's cause that's me in the middle with a with a with a Zulu headdress, but I want to show you the part of the set. Uh, this is the oh you don't see it. This is the vest that this, that that headdress goes to. Oh, that's that's normal radio. That's my my wife stitched that um stitched that. That's my normal radio band. Oh, that's my my uh, uh, grand nephew. He put his fist up like that. You know, 
I'm surrounded by revolutionaries, and of course, that's why you see that that's the Henry Dumas data. Oh, that's a just a a, a holder for um for what uh, it's a holder for for cell phones. I got a while ago. It's a zebra, so I kept it. Oh yeah, and that guy just a picture. It's a roster. I I let me tell you something. Let me explain something to you. There's two cultures that I know that are worldwide and every, almost like every place on the planet. Those are the Chinese and the Rastas, right? So I, I'm, I don't know. So anyway, it was a good. I like this picture, and I'm, I'm doing this whole thing. I think I'm doing this whole thing with this with this hat I got. That if I take pictures with clothes like that, I put that the same hat I'm wearing there, and that's hat up there. See, I told to call this thing up here. These to the the little girl. Uh, uh, that's Hanan, um, and uh, she's she's conspiring with me right there, and that's this that guy, that that guy right there. That's Hanan's father right there, uh, here. So that's that's the that's the set. That's the way the set looks, and um, that's it. So I just every, oh yeah. So uh, like I said before, I'm just trying to I'm connecting with my lineage, and it's really interesting. It's been a, a very interesting experiment. I'm the more I go, the more I, I realize. Hey man, you when you're reading this stuff, you really do get a connection with it. And, 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 you know, it, somehow it, it, it's like the translations. Um, I enjoy the Gullah more. They, they, they're more specific to me. They're, I don't know, they, they make more sense to me than the, than the old English, you know? So that's it. Uh, just a little explanation from me. T from the Pattersons taking the trains to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.